So today we're gonna be ranking all the worst zombie bosses to the best zombie bosses in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies and all other weird looking things as well like this dumb dumb looking ass from worst to best. Now this video is going to get some people insanely insanely triggered and then I'll be triggered. Basically we're all going to be triggered if I don't explain the following. Now some people say if the zombie boss is hard then he is the worst. Others say if the zombie boss needs to be hard because a zombie boss is meant to be hard. The more hard he is the better it is. Now don't take this in a wrong direction uh, when I say when I say hard I'm basically talking about the difficulty and not what you think. So this list is basically going to be from worst to best aka easy to hard and if you're looking for a hard to easy list then you basically have to reverse this list if you know what I'm saying and I'm pretty sure y'all be happy with it if you disagree somehow let me know your list in the comments and also if you're new to the channel hey make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at our number 24 spot ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the Pentagon thief now my nibba Pentagon thief he is innocent AF and what he does is absolutely mind-blowing like he just comes around and he just like look for a weapon He basically steal your weapon my boy is innocent AF He doesn't hurt the only thing he take away is your weapon and I mean like it's not a big deal right but coming in at our number 23 spot we're talking about the astronaut from moon and the only thing my boy does to you is basically he's going to headbutt the shit out of you and when he does that to you you're basically going to lose one perk not, not a big deal right but I mean you're going to lose that one perk and sometimes it happens that you're gonna lose your deadshot perk of course Bob loves that perk that's why I'm saying that alright but it's very easy to take his ass down all you gotta do is just put a couple of bullets or drill a couple of bullets into him and my boy will go away but he will come back so uh, you gotta repeat the shit out of that as well so very important very important but coming in at our number 22 spot ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the parasites now it's so easy to take them down even if you got like like Bob in your game all you gotta do is just move around and just tell Bob like just just like move around go in circle and look up and just shoot and guess what Bob is gonna be able to kill him like I know that's Bob for you right like we all thought that Bob cannot do anything but trust me guys even Bob can take those honeybees down and honeybees they cannot even touch my boy Bob but coming in at our number 21 spot ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the damn keepers now the keepers are in revelations and are in shadows of evil as well and they're like normal zombie but they are called keepers basically if you know what I'm saying but coming in at our number 20 spot we're talking about the gold diggers ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the buried witches now you know like whenever you open this door like first of all it costs points to open this door and basically you're paying for a door to actually witness like gold diggers basically and as soon as you're gonna go in it's very easy to take them down but at the same time we're talking about Bob who always gets confused and that's a problem and Bob if you're listening just hear me out like I care for Bob even Carlos care but Alejandro don't now the thing is Alejandro will make sure Bob gets in with 10k points what Alejandro is gonna do is basically he's gonna give Bob 10k points because Bob needs it so in that regards Alejandro is doing something good he's helping out but the problem is he has bad motives Alejandro will make sure he gives 10k points to my boy Bob and guess what he's giving him because he wants Bob to go inside and he wants Bob to be panicking as soon as he goes inside that gold digger house and every time those gold digger touch they grab 2,000 points and guess what Alejandro will be laughing on Bob and Carlos will be looking at him be saying like what Alejandro will be looking at him saying what and guess what Bob will be panicking and it's very like no, I'm not even sure if Bob gonna make it or not but coming in at our number 19 spot we're talking about those ascension monkeys now ascension monkeys are pain in the arse uh, basically what they do those sneaky little apps is that they come around every now and then and most importantly they come around when you have perks and the problem is if you're playing solo you know like if you buy quick revive and I mean Bob doesn't know this but whenever those ascension monkeys come around and you have bot or Bob bot quick revive guess what they're gonna take that quick revive away from him and every time they take quick revive perk away from you or from Bob basically it's gonna count as you have went down it just hits hard not only to me but to Carlos to Alejandro to my boy Bob as well and as soon as Bob realized that he was like screaming what am I really playing Call of Duty zombies and Carlos looked back at him and he was saying yes you are playing this thing called Call of Duty Zombies. But coming in at our number 18 spot, we're talking about those revelations 
corrupt crawlers. Now every time you activate those corruption engine, that's when they're gonna spawn. And sometimes they spawn here and there, but I mean like, they're annoying little shits, if you know what I'm saying, but they're not really something like huge. The only time they're gonna come around is whenever you activate those corruption engine, and surprise surprise, you gotta activate those corruption engine in order to open pack punch. And Bob loves to actually travel, uh, he loves to experience some new things, if you know what I'm saying, so I mean like, uh, uh, we need to do that, and they're gonna spawn in, but they are at our number 18 spot. But coming in at our number 17 spot, we're talking about Bob Boy's denizens. I don't know, like, Bob actually like them. Bob says, like, they are very cute, and I'm just looking at him saying, like, what? Alandro will be looking at this, I'm like, what? Car Carlos will be looking at him saying, like, what? I swear, Bob's crazy. I told you guys countless time. Bob is crazy, and sometimes I don't understand Bob, but the problem is, every time you go through that fog, they will come around, they will sit on your forehead, and the problem is, like, the big problem is, basically, Bob will be going through that fog with Carlos, of course, very important, we cannot leave Bob behind, and guess what, uh, Carlos will be knifing, and he will make sure that uh, those denizens go away, they will fly away and everything like that, but guess what, Bob's gonna be right behind him, and he will not knife, because he's just like, okay, uh, um, something is on top of my head. They actually like protecting me from all that fog from that darkness But coming in at our number 16 spot ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the other I'm not even sure if that's how you call him But basically I'm talking about the electric guy He's from transit and a lot of people hate that map. I personally don't hate that map I personally don't like that map or I mean I I don't love that map, but I like that map Hopefully I'm clear, but uh, what I'm trying to say here is that the electric guy is in transit and if you have those uh, Galvic Knuckles, of course if you have Galvic Knuckles you can easily take Denizens down as well which was over number 17 spot just previously but it's very easy to take the electric guy and of course if you got EMP then it's like Papa Bless, it's very easy and he doesn't really serve a purpose if you know what I mean but at the same time he comes at over number 16 spot. But coming in at our number 15 spot, now this one is a difficult one because I'm talking about Zetsubu Nishima and we're talking about the Mama Spider. I'm not talking about those little spiders, I'm talking about that big fat Mama Spider. Uh, and the problem is, or why this was difficult to place, because the thing is, a mama spider don't spawn in the map. Like, uh, she's crazy, but she ain't that crazy. That's, that's what I mean. But what I exactly mean by this is that she will not appear right in front of you. You have to go at her, and that's what I'm saying. If you don't go at her, then you don't fight her. So that's what I'm saying. She is a boss, though. But coming in at our number 14 spot, we're talking about meat balls. Now, I'm not even sure what Trek was thinking when they actually made this thing called Black Ops 3 Zombies or Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies uh, but they spawn in Shadows of Evil and they got their special round I'm just looking at Trick and I'm saying like what you crazy but it's not really hard to take him down but at the same time you gotta watch out because it happened to Bob countless time he went down my neighbor yeah my neighbor Bob went down and then Carlos has to interfere he has to like revive my boy and my boy was screaming like revive me meatball got me if you know what I'm saying and guys it was not a happy experience for Bob. I, I want each and every single one of you to press F to pay respects right now. But coming in at our number 13 spot, we're talking about Nova Crawlers, which is just like, ye. they are in uh, Kinoder Toten. And I don't know what purpose do they serve, but I mean, like, they're in Kinoder Toten, which happens to be my favorite zombie map ever. Let me know what's your favorite map in the comments right now. Don't sleep on that, very important. But uh, they come in at our number 13 spot. Very easy to take them down. Very, very easy, very easy. Coming in at our number 12 spot we're talking about Shangri-La napalm zombies now when Bob first saw the napalm zombie he legit got paranoid he was shook he was like this is it um, I'm gonna go down like napalm zombie was like 10 miles away from him and he was still screaming napalm zombie napalm zombies of course Carlos told him about napalm zombie because Bob didn't know he was called napalm zombie if you know what I mean but coming in at our number 11 spot we're talking about those little spiders from Zetsubu Nishima and I gotta say it's very easy to take them down but at the same time they are very annoying whenever you're doing those skull process or whenever you're trying to get that skull or nun, nun skull or skull skull of nun stuff well I'm not sure but coming in at our number 10 spot we're talking about those jumping jacks from Dyrus now I absolutely love those jumping jacks because uh, not only they give you max ammo but they also give you free perk bottles and at our number 9 spot we're talking about those shrieker zombies now they spawn quite a lot in this thing called Shangri-La which is a lot of people favorite map and a lot of people hate that map, but I mean like Shrieker Zombie uh, or Shrieker Zombies, they spawn in 
quite a lot on the map. And every time they spawn in, you will get that blurry vision and it's not a happy meme. And they run fast as that buoy and I'm gonna reiterate this, it's not a good meme. But coming in at our number 8 spot, we're talking about Gorod Kurovi 93. Five robots. Now the thing is like they move around quite a lot and they are annoying as shit. They will zap you if you stay still and trust me Bob got zapped quite a lot alright. He got, he he basically got down and all he was saying revive me I got zapped and I was just looking at myself like whoa you crazy. Uh, but I mean like 935 robots it's very easy to take them down but at the same time they zap you and it's not a good meme. But coming in at our number 7 spot we're talking about hellhounds just a classic but coming in at our number 6 spot we're talking about Mangler who are in this thing called Gorai Kurobi once again looks like Brutus and guess what at our number five spot we have Brutus and Brutus is crazy one of my favorite boss of all time I gotta be real because uh, a mob of the dead is one of my favorite map as well now Brutus comes around every now and then and sometimes there are like two three four five Five of them shits crazy and uh, that's only on the Golden Gate Bridge. But you will only get one Brutus on Mob of the Dead and every time he comes around he will just smash that mystery box and then you would have to buy that or unlock that if you know what I'm saying and he can also smash your shield and he can smash that shit on top of your forehead as well and then you will go down. Shits crazy. Absolutely love my boy Brutus. But coming in at our number four spot I'm talking about those damn thrashers. Now I absolutely hate them because uh, they actually ruined Zatsubu no Shima for me. I'm not even gonna lie like they don't even spawn once per round they spawn in every single round multiple damn times like you kill one thrasher another one will pop up I'm just like goddamn truck is that really you and whoever thought of making those thrashers I swear I hope I get to meet that guy and I hope I get to explain why he was wrong all along. But coming in at our number 3 spot, I'm talking about the Der Eisen Drag Panzer. I'm not talking about the Origins one, we're talking about the Der Eisen Drag Panzer. Shit's crazy and it's very easy to take him down and sometimes I wonder if it's like really a Panzer if you know what I mean and sometimes I'm just like... But coming in at our number 2 spot, we're talking about the damn Margwa. Now Margwa got 3 face and that doesn't blow my mind but at, at the same time I still wanted you guys to know that he or she got 3 faces and it's annoying AF. Like you shoot one face he's gonna run or he or she gonna run. I'm not even sure. I don't wanna assume my boy or my girl Margwa gender if you know what I'm saying. If someone, let me know if, like would you say Margwa is a female or a male? Let me know in the comments right now but you gotta shoot the first face then the Margwa is gonna run. You gotta shoot another face he's gonna run a little bit faster and then you gotta shoot another one and that's when Margwa gonna fly away. Of course we have seen the Margwa first in Shadows of Evil then they actually duplicate him in uh uh, Revelation, if you know, shout out to those guys that used to make duplication glitches in GTA 5 and they, they brought it back, that's what I'm trying to say, Treyarch brought him back and they duplicate the shit out of him in Revelation, but coming in at our number one spot, Origins Panzer, and I don't even have to provide any explanation like how crazy Origin Panzer is, and all I'm gonna say here is that we're gonna end this video right now, check out some other videos on the screen, subscribe if you happen to be new, and if you did enjoy this video, smash a like and I'll see you very